Let's talk very briefly about BigQuery permissions. Now, I know security isn't the most exciting topic, but since you're dealing with data, security is incredibly important. So a good understanding of how Google Cloud handles its permissioning scheme, as well as roles, and how it impacts your usage of BigQuery is very important to understand. Google Cloud Platform has the notion of a resource hierarchy. Permissions start at the top and then flow downwards from there. At the top, you have an organization, which represents your company. You optionally can add folders underneath a company, and then these folders can have projects. Now within a project, you can have resources, such as in this case, compute engine instances, app engine services, uh, cloud storage buckets, or BigQuery. What's important for you to know is that you will typically deal with a resource hierarchy from an organization to a project to BigQuery. This is especially important to know if you're using BigQuery on your own, typically within your own user account. If you're working at a company, a lot of the organization and permissioning schemes will be handled by somebody in charge of security. Now, with respect to BigQuery permissions, you do need to know about the Google Cloud resource hierarchy, and you also need to know about IM permissions. IM stands for Identity Access Management, and these are permissions, also known as roles, that apply to a user's account. So again, permissions flow from top to bottom. If you have a permission that's applied at an organization level, that permission will flow down through all folders, through all projects, to all resources. If you're working on your own, the BigQuery admin role is fine. If you're on a team, your security team will use the principle of least privilege and grant you very granular roles. Um, the principle of least privilege basically means that you get the privileges that you need and nothing more. This prevents permissions from being too broadly distributed to people who don't need that level of security access. So again, to wrap up, BigQuery permissions are an important part of being able to use BigQuery in a safe and secure manner. Now, with respect to BigQuery access control, there are different levels. You can attach BigQuery access control at a project level. You can control access at a data set level. You can do column level access permissions on a table level, and you can also do row-based access permissions on a view level. And that concludes our overview of BigQuery permissions. Uh, the next video will have a quick demo that illustrates these concepts.